Okay, this is take two. This is Confessions of a Fabric Holic in my fabric haul video. Okay, y'all had seen I did a sneak preview from when I was on vacation and I bought some fabrics. And so now I'm going to show you some of the fabrics I got then. Then I went to the fabric store today. So much of the fabrics was calling my name. It was like, Pat, come on, come on, come on. And I had to kind of just close my ears, ignore them, and act like they was talking to another Pat in the store. But it really made me happy. So let's get started. This first set of fabric that I'm going to show you, I purchased in Asheville, North Carolina at the Fabric and Foam Outlet. It might actually be in Fletcher, but I call it Asheville. Look at these adorable little baby prints. And I'm going to a doll show. It's not until next year, June of 2023, and it'll be here in Raleigh. But these will make adorable little baby gowns or maybe a quilt. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. They're not big pieces. I think I just got like a half a yard or so. But, you know, I just love me some fabric. So we got those pieces. And then that same type of vibe, these cute, adorable little kitties very vintage looking so that piece those also i got this piece here i like these for what it says so learn to embroider cook more uh more yoga just all kinds of little things i just thought it was a cute little piece of fabric maybe for some mug rugs or something and then y'all know i love alice so look at these alice teacups and these is who put this fabric out. Curious, what does that say? It's curious, Curio, and Curious. Tallulah Pink. So I got this piece of fabric. And all of these next ones, they coordinate together. So those teacups. This one here. These would make some really nice appliques, like to iron on a t-shirt or the back of a jacket or something. This piece here. Which way does this go like this? That piece and this piece here. And if you look there, you'll see there she is that going down the rabbit hole. And that happens to so many of us. Okay, so those were the Alice fabrics. And then going back to the same place, look at this vintage inspired has like nursery rhymes on it. There's Jack and Jill, the three little kittens, Rockabye Baby. Like I said, I'm not exactly sure, but, you know, I had to get this when I seen it because you don't always see what you're looking for when you go to the fabric store. Then this piece is adorable. So cute. Look at the little pixies like on that. Very vintage inspired. And then I got these ones here, those little guys. Wait till you see these two. You ready? It is so cute. Look at that. I love those little guys there. Okay. Let's see what else we found. The little bathing beauties. And these are, what is this fabric by? This is enough to see. This is Mary Stewart for Elizabeth somebody. Let's see if we can find out who this is for. Nope. But anyway, it's cute fabric. Perfect for like mug rugs or um, even patches to iron on some pants or the back of a jacket or something. So that piece there, what else did I get that day? Oh, this piece of Alice, which I've already used some of this Alice. I made a clothes pin. No, it was a regular doll. She had this dress on out of this fabric here. I think I had one more piece of Alice, but I used it. It was a teeny tiny print. And then also there, 
Got two pieces of gingham. It's getting harder and harder to find some of the really soft colors of gingham. So I picked up a couple of yards of each one of those. And then for Halloween, a lot of different uh, little panels of those. Got a little ghost. It's kind of, where's the little ghost? So I can show you the ghost. There it is right here, the ghost in the back. So we got those ones. <laughs> and um, that was everything that I got there. Then while I was gone at the same time, I had ordered some a piece of fabric from Wendy at Wacky Wendy's Warehouse, some a Curious George panel. So on eBay, I ordered this Curious George little pieces because my intention is to make a quilt with Curious George as a center. And then also I have another piece that has a blue background that's probably in the envelope I bought it in. I don't know. Okay, so that was that one. I found a little bit more of this. I think I ordered this off of Etsy. It was just like a little remnant piece. So I got this little piece here with the cupies on it. Because I totally was out of that piece. And then for the doll show that I was saying, that's next year, uh, the theme is Peter Rabbit. So I found this Peter Rabbit fabric here on eBay at a good price. Let's see that. I don't know why it's creating a shadow, but this is some Peter Rabbit. And um, I'll share, if I can find it, some of the little clothes and stuff that I've made using some a different Peter Rabbit that was really a good seller, that good selling outfit. Okay, so those were my hauls there. Then today I went to Joanne Fabrics in Cary, North Carolina, because seeing some fabric on Instagram, I said, Boy, I gotta get some of that. So after much research, found out Joanne's, but the Joanne's, okay. I'm like 45 minutes from almost any Joanne, 45 miles or whatever. So Greensboro was out and Fayetteville, North Carolina was out. So, but Carrie had some. So I went to Carrie and I found the fabric I was looking for. But when I got there, yes, it was on sale, but they also had all their character prints on sale. Normally any place from $10.99 to $14.99. Today, it was $6.99. So all this fabric kept saying, get me, get me, get me. I'm like, I can't get all of y'all. So I had to start ignoring some of them. But I'll show you what, who convinced me. We have this one here. This is Scooby-Doo in, in the mystery machine. So I got a fair amount of that. This, I love this one here. This is like a collage of all these different Disney. I'll try to hold that up close. There's Jungle Book, Sleeping Beauty, Snow White, Cinderella, Dumbo. So, and of course, Alice is on there someplace. And y'all know I love me some Alice. Where is she? I seen Alice. Where are you? Right there's Alice. There's an Alice in Wonderland. So got that piece. Not that I'm a big Alice fan. I did used to watch his movies. Still trying to figure out why, but I used to really like his movies. This piece of Alice fabric here. Oops. I mean not Alice. Alvis. So I think some mug rugs or something like that. I'm not real sure, but I'm going to do something with it. And some Golden Girls. Lots of Golden Girls fabric. And this is the Squad Goals Golden Girl fabric. Again, there's more out. I love this one. This is probably, probably my favorite of all the fabric. No, nah, 
it's close it's close all of them i really like but this is one of my favorites it's hard to really narrow down one because i love fabric then i got this grateful dead little pieces these are uh all of those ones was bigger pieces these are just a quarter of a yard because i just wanted to bring a little piece with me so i got that piece there this jack and sally i don't know why that shadow is on there wasn't there the first time this is my second take of this video some more of that this one's like a stained glass And then this is a scary clown alert. I got just a little piece of that. And another Alice. And this one I'm going to be using for my clothespin dolls because when I measured it out in my mind, these one of these strips is perfect for one of the clothespin dolls. So I'll be cutting this in strips and using it to dye the little dresses on some of the clothespin dolls. Still haven't got to what I went to the fabric store to purchase, but I'm, I promise to share with you. And this has all of the superheroes on it. There's Batman and the Hawk, Spider-Man, Wolverine, Captain America. More so than the print on this, I love what it, you know, it's from Beetlejuice. I, myself, am strange and, and unusual. So, and then there's a piece of Kiss, some Kiss fabric. And the last piece of these, of the character prints, is this Cruella. Cruella de Vil. I love the print. I love the red and white in the back. And I love that black and white contrast. Okay, then they had a, oh, I got one remnant. Yeah, one remnant of some Batman. So like this piece ended up costing 62 cents. So yeah. It was... And then this was a remnant, but this piece of fabric was like regularly like 20 bucks a yard. Let's see if I can get this up close to show you all the detail on this fabric. There you go. I thought this would be beautiful for some gowns. Can you see the glitter, the sparkles, the pearls? So this piece was almost a yard and it was normally, let me see, I still got my receipt right here. I want to say, I didn't see that on my receipt. I know it's on here though. Yeah, 20, this was regular 24 yard. And I end up paying like $5 for this piece here or something like that, four or five dollars. And then this piece here, these butterflies are three dimensional. And this is another piece here. This one was regular. I want to say this one was $29.99 a yard. And it was only 25% off, but I got this one because the, I'm going to a doll show uh, November the 11th, I think it's the date, in Detroit, Michigan. And the theme is all about butterflies. It's called the Detroit Doll Show and Sale. And I'm hoping I can get bar, uh, at least three, well, three Barbie gowns out of this piece of this little piece. So I'll use only the skirt. Only the skirt will be made out of this, and then it'll have an underlining of white satin or maybe a pink satin or something. And then hopefully I'll have like a butterfly or two left, and I'll use that on the bodice of the dress. So that's my plans for, the, for this particular piece. I couldn't afford to get too much of that. Okay, so now, uh-oh, one more remnant piece this one here and thank goodness joanne's offers a teacher discount so i did get an additional 15 percent off because i still had my um app and it still had the teacher on there so now you ready you ready 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 this is what i went to get that made me so happy look at this fabric here 
And this is by someone, I've never heard of this person. His name is Shay Anthony. This is some of Joanne's premium quilted fabric. And it is regular $14.99 a yard. But today, it was not ringing up automatically on sale, but they had a sign saying it was 30% off, which made it $10.99. But according to joannes.com, it was $8.99. So they did honor the $8.99. I felt so sorry for the lady that checked me out because today was her first day on the job. This is how many pieces that she had to put in. And she was saying now the machine wasn't working. So each one of these had to be put in manually. Then she had to go back and manually take the discount and make the adjustments because even up there, it was still ringing up $14.99. But I just love, love this. And the design is small enough that I can use it for doll clothes. That piece. And this piece, do I have that sideways, backwards, upside down? This one is called Beautiful Head Wraps. Then this one is what I seen online that I just really said, oh, gotta get, gotta get. It's little girls with ponytails and Afro puffs. So I'll be making dresses out of that, doll dresses and gowns. And then this cone piece here had the picks in it, the hair picks. And little clips. Then um, they had this print here that coordinates with all of these. So I'm not sure how I'm going to use them, but well, some type of way. And then the last piece of that fabric they had was this one here. And you can see it's made exclusively for Joann's by Shay Anthony. So those were my fabrics that I found today, which made me very happy. And then to top off the day, I stopped while I was in town, as I like to say. And I had lunch with my daughter. We had some Mexican. It was very good. And then I headed on back home. So if you made it to the end of the video, let me know what your favorite fabric is. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, um, give me a thumbs up if you like this type of content. And also, if you got some ideas what to do with some of this fabric, what would be really nice, let me know that too in the comments below. Thanks. Bye-bye.